Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Tom and today I'm going to show you and tell you how to find love in the new 2024 year. And for people who don't know, I am Tom, your life dating dedicated coach. And for the past two years, I immersed myself in wealth of knowledge and today's modern dating. Through the mass mediums ranging from videos, books, from influencers like Matthew Hussey, Courtney Ryan, The Whatever Podcast, Jay Shetty, Will Hitchens, and many more. But if you guys don't know who these people are and you want to invest in yourself and you want a better dating life, definitely follow me, but also follow these guys. These guys are definitely my inspiration. I support them 100%, so go check them out. But this is how you are gonna find your partner. First of all, have you ever heard the saying, do not put your eggs in one basket? My advice, put your eggs in one basket. See where that goes. Invest in that person if you internally feel like it's right. But what I'm trying to say is putting all your eggs in one basket shows that you're just ready for a relationship. It shows that you're not here to play games anymore. You're actually like, okay, like I'm getting a little older now, depending on what your age is or what your situation is. Um, you know, I, I finally want to sell down and I think I'm ready. You'll find that maybe it might be a red flag that you come across someone, they're like, uh, clingy or, uh, literally doing, you know, putting your eggs in one basket or if someone tells you that, no, you shouldn't put your eggs in one basket. I think you should, you know, why not? Like there's so many options. There's so many ways to find people nowadays, especially with the internet and Tinder and everything else and such scenarios. And if you're a confident person and you're like, you know, working on yourself, you go to the gym, you, you know, you, you're working on your career and all that, all that stuff will come. Like it will come. Like when your confidence starts to rise, you're, you will attract, you will attract good positive energies in your life. But also like, Putting your eggs in one basket is, you know, a good term because you can, you can, like I said, you can show that you're serious and you're not like here to play games. And if they, if they run because you want to put all your eggs in one basket on them, then clearly they weren't the one. If it was meant to happen, it's going to happen. There's no, there's no woulda, shoulda, coulda, maybes, whatever. Like if they're your person, they're going to stick around. You can't mess up something that is meant to be. Remember that you can never mess up. That's something that's meant to be. But let me tell you, if you're believe in monogamy and you are monogamous in early stages of dating, you're going to bring a lot of factors into a good foundation for your future relationship. If this is the person, like if you intentionally have that feeling, like I explained, then all these great things are going to come down the road for you. And there's not going to be things down the road that's going to bring up issues that you did or mistakes that happened or whatever in the early stages. It's going to bring uh, commitment. It's going to establish boundaries. Uh, it's going to bring more trust than ever. Honestly, more dr less drama, but also you're not going to mix up scenarios if you are seeing multiple people at the same time. Um, that scenarios that you're getting mixed up with that person. So if you hung out and did something with person A, you're not gonna tell person B about it, what you guys did and you guys didn't do it. And it's like, oh, I thought that we did that. No, you didn't. You did that with person A and then you get busted. So it kind of rolls back to the trust and um, commitment and uh, the, the true value of, you know, what, what's going to come down the road. Cause if you are seeing multiple people in the beginning stages of early dating, maybe you did tell them and maybe you truly did have that feeling inside that this is my person, but you weren't monogamous and you were also seeing maybe two or three other people or whatever. And, uh, that person finds out and then you just messed it all up. And then now they're running. And then now you're like, and this whole thing and then maybe they do come back but then it's like a big trust issue thing down the road thing is with modern dating like we have this narrative that yeah don't put all your eggs in one basket but why not it doesn't work out it doesn't work out it doesn't work out in three four months it doesn't work out it just it's just the way it is
we go through times in life where good things happen and bad things happen. It's just the part of life. It's just the way things are. It never hurts to be happy with yourself and be strong with yourself and know that in any situation and any circumstance, that person will do something to you to hurt you dramatically. And if you're aware of that and there that trust is there, you'll be you'll be good. Like internally, you'll be good. It'll hurt a lot, but you'll be good overall. With having multiple partners, you're you're losing the true value of what a relationship and what love really is. Dating, it is a commitment, it is a connection, it is consistency, and it's a decision. You decide every day that you wanna be with this person, but that's why I support putting all your eggs in one basket because it's an investment at the end of the day. Like you are investing in something for your long time happiness. Like I've mentioned in a previous video, like you're picking a lot of things when you're finding a life partner. The most important thing you have to keep in mind too is you're not overstepping, you're not coming off too clingy, you're not, you know, you don't wanna overstep or overinvest in something that, you know, the relationship and a lot of people know this or should know this, that it is a two way street, right? So you have to find a, a balance where you're not, you know, up here and they're down there or you know what I mean? The energy has to match because if the energy doesn't match, it's just going to go, it's going to not work out. You know, it's just not going to work out. That's, that's obvious. Establish boundaries. Also like this person could be great on week five, but week six, not so great. I always have to remember if it doesn't work out, it's not going to work out. Like you only date one person if you're in the dating market, right? So like at the end of the day, what's the point of seeing multiple? If you're seeing three people at once in early stages of dating, two of those people are going to be time wasters. Like, yeah, they might be fun. Yeah, you might be doing stuff, but it's just like, why? Like, and if you're a male and you want to be that gentleman that you are, how expensive and how much is that going to affect your you know, budget? Hopefully you're practicing good financial decisions and not being too spontaneous and too impulsive. These are things you have to consider when you, you know, are looking for your person. But this whole idea of like seeing multiple people too is like this dating atmosphere of finding the best candidate. But like I've said, like it's, it's, it's a feeling, not a finding, you know, you, you going into like relationships. It's not like, okay, well your, your X, Y, Z is awesome, but I like A, B, C over here. Or, you know, I wish this person would had some X, A, B, Y, Z or whatever. And uh, at that point, you're just playing like a game where you think that oh, it might work out with this person or this person is, you know, and then it's just this whole like, mind mess on you that could have been avoided from the start if you just invested in one person, focused on one person, because focusing on people, it's a lot of work. So like if you're trying to like decipher three people at once, for example, like even focusing on one person's a lot. Like if you ever just, you know, we've all been in relationships, hopefully, you know, long term relationships or short term or whatever your scenario is. And, you know, we've all came to the conclusion where it's, you know, it's a lot of work, a lot of remembering things, a lot of uh, planning, a lot of everything, you know, it's, it takes a lot of energy out of your day. And that's not even including the stuff that you have to do on your personal level. For people that are lost and cannot find, you know, love and can't find their person, I found that every time you can ask anybody who's been in a healthy relationship and they will tell you that they've known since day one that they were their person that they were the one. There's this amazing feeling you have inside and you just know, you just know that this is the person you wanna marry one day, if that's your goal. And the weirdest thing about it too is it just makes sense. Like you go into it and it's like this weirdest feeling ever. Like all of it just makes sense. It's not planned. It's not how the past relationships were, you know, it's, it just, it just feels so surreal in real time. If you're finding yourself in a dark place, a dark hole, a dark headspace, 
Maybe you have to consider yourself, would I date myself? Am I a good candidate? Like, would my person date me? Like if my perfect person was displayed in front of me, would they look at me and say, yes, I would love to date you. You are my person too. That's the big question you have to ask yourself. That's okay if you come to this conclusion that you're like, yeah, like my person wouldn't date me, then it's time to work on yourself. You can do what I did. Start eating right, start going to the gym, start investing in yourself, start educating yourself. Instead of watching Netflix for hours on end, learn something. That's the most powerful gift that we have as humans is going out and just doing something and trying something new and you know learning what you can do and evolving as a human being. You know, learn empathy, find God, take responsibility for even the little things serve others, forgive and let go. Finally, I'm gonna wrap this video up with a question, right? What patterns do you see yourself consistently getting into every year that doesn't just seem to go away? Every new year, it's the same issues, same patterns, and they just don't seem to get better. And I'm gonna wrap the video up by saying this, you will be extremely, surprised and and the moment you change your perspective and you know start focusing on yourself and start figuring out who you are as a person that person will walk into your life very unexpectedly when you least expect it Anyways, guys thank you for watching this video if you're new to the channel my name is tom life dating coach here and subscribe. I do appreciate it. I will be posting when I can. Have a great year, guys. I hope 2024 is your year, but take this stuff into advice. I really recommend it. I worked hard on it. So see you on the next one, guys.